It's from the New York Sun. Massachusetts residents who turned into the Olympics opening ceremony saw a new 30-second campaign commercial from Elizabeth Warren that said America should be more like communist China. She is running for the United States Senate and is saying that to help herself win. She said, we've got bridges and roads in need of repair and thousands of people in need of work. Why aren't we rebuilding America? Our competitors are putting people to work, building a future. China invests 9% of its GDP in infrastructure. America, we're just 2.4%. We can do better. They are building roads and bridges like crazy in North Dakota. They're building housing like crazy in North Dakota. They're building things. They're going absolutely nuts in North Dakota because there is an oil boom in North Dakota. But no, no, can't mention that. No. She's running for the Senate in Massachusetts, and she's telling people she wants to vote for her. They have to be more like the Chai Coms. they got to be more like communist China. Here's uh, here's Linda in Linz from Minnesota as we go back to the phones. Great to have you on the program. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. It's such an honor to speak with you. Thank you. Um, I'm very nervous, so I'm going to try to get through this. You'll do it fine. I have no doubt. Uh, I can always count on you to verbalize whatever I'm thinking. I was actually insulted by the U.K.'s uh, National Health Service performance. Yeah. I thought it was an in-your-face to conservatives everywhere, especially Americans. It was. You're exactly right. I uh, I was already dreading Paul McCartney, and it, which, you know, I was certain his performance would have. You know what? Did you? He's out there singing Hey Jude, and most of the people in the audience had no idea they couldn't sing along. They never heard of it because he's old enough to be their grandfather. <laughs> they didn't know what the song was. <laughs> I, I turned my TV off. I, did, I stopped watching it. But I, I really believe that the Brits, the French, and the Italians have never gotten over the fact that America had to rescue them from Hitler. And in their effort to show that they've, uh, they're perfectly capable of determining their own destiny, they, uh, they, they need to embrace whatever is opposite of America. No, I think, I, I know what you're trying to say out there. Uh, that's, that's why we are here, Linda, to speak your mind. I, I understand that, and, uh, and you do and that I, very well. I think that you have, uh, you're, you're, you're on to something. Although, in this case, this, this, the guy that did the opening ceremony is an avowed huge Marxist leftist named Danny Boyle. And, but I think what you're, I think it was in your face to conservatives. I think everything is in your face to conservatives. I think it's the people who think they're cool trying to rub the noses of the people they think are not cool in it. Honoring the national health care, that's a political statement chosen on purpose because of the debate going on in America. There's no question about it. I couldn't agree with you more.